Hello, my old mucker. You're cute, aren't you? Oh, he's lucky. Oh, the first friendly dog. Oh, I say that and he went to bite me. All right, good morning, everybody, from the city of Lampang. We're in proper northern Thailand now. We're around, I think, two hours drive from Chiang Mai. And let me tell you, it does look sunny. We've got a beautiful blue sky. But here in the morning, up here in Northern Thailand right now, it gets cold. It was like 13 degrees this morning, which is cold. You know, when you're, you've been out of the UK for so long. Now the plan for the day, there isn't really a plan. This is our first impressions of Lampang City here in Northern Thailand. So let's just go for a walk, see what we can find. Hopefully get some delicious food. I think you know what we'll, what we'll be getting first, an absolute classic northern Thai dish. And then we'll we'll just take it from there, we'll just freestyle it and see see what this place is like, see if it's worth visiting. It's quite nice. I think it's the third largest city in northern Thailand. This car is cool, isn't it? But it doesn't feel that big, it's quite walkable. So it's not overwhelming. It is a bit cold. So let's just go for it without further ado. And explore Lampang. Initially, one of the first things that you notice walking around this city is there's so many wooden houses. Like the ones we saw in Thai, but there's so many. Hello, mate. Sorry, cab. Oh, this cat's really cute. Another brown cat. Everyone keeps the cats on leads. Sorry, cat. Tied <laughs> outside the businesses in Thailand. We saw it all over Shantaburi and everywhere else. You just see a cat on like a two meter lead just stood there in the street, just peeking around. Now Lampang might only be like a two hour drive from Chiang Mai, but I think that's enough to keep most of the tourists away because there's only a few Falang here and there, it's not like overcrowded. In fact, we've only seen like a couple of other tourists, so that's great. And so far, the people have all been extremely kind, smiley, everything you'd expect from Thai people. So, so far, I get some thumbs up. Right, so obviously, being in the north of Thailand, you probably know what we're going to be having for breakfast. So we've come for a big bowl of khao soy. And we've had a few chicken khao soys on the channel so far. So we've gone for a khao soy nu, which is with these chunks of beef. It smells wonderful. Now this place is called, in fact, I'll show you after we've eaten. Let's just try the broth first on its own. I think these balls are 50 baht each for the beef. That's oh, wonderful. It's quite light. Not too creamy from the coconut, but that was really interesting. Now, obviously, if you know cow soy before we took in, we'll have to throw in all our extras. So let's put the onion, pickled mustard greens, more onion. Oh, drop some. And then a big squeeze of juicy lime. Look at that. And then we won't stop there because we've got. There's also sugar if you fancy it sweet. It's chilli. That's the good stuff, isn't it? That looks really good. Give it all a big mix up. Let's try a chunk of beef. Wow. Not have much to say about that. Extremely soft, tender. Melt in your mouth beef that you can cook with a spoon. That's pretty ridiculous. I'll put you down here. Right, so let's get a big chopsticks worth. Mm. 
really beefy. Which I like. The beef's a star patrol. The beef is really good. It's a live broth. Everywhere you go will make it different. Will always taste different. Which is great about Thai food. But you, could, you don't get bored of just having the same dish because it's always going to taste different. Crunchy noodles. My favourite part of the cow soy. Oh, nice, spicy and zesty from my life. Really good. Can I look in here? Die, my. Die, die. Ah. So, I need the. the cow. I need new. I need new. This is the beef. Oh wow, look how rich that looks. Wow, we have aloe. <laughs> and any guy. So this is the chicken one. Well the chicken one looks different. Ah. We have, we'll have to come back for guy. For me. For me, guy. Couple my cab. Body hat. So here we go, this is the cow soy islam. The best. Hello, <laughs> Tisud. Tisud. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> really good. So the beef form. That's my first cow soy new. Cow soy beef. Very interesting taste. Are we filming? Yeah. The chicken model lighter, didn't it? But yeah, definitely not like made for a flying pellet in there. More like earthy and like rich. Like deep Thai flavours. Not like super heavy on the coconut cream, coconut milk. It's really interesting. The guy's absolutely lovely in there. He's such a kind, gentle bloke. <laughs> right. Delicious. 50, 50 baht each? No, 45 baht. 45 baht. 45 baht for a nice little bowl of cow soy. Super breakfast. I mean, when you're in the north of Thailand, you've got to, haven't you? Classic dish. So I grabbed these. I think they're little fruit shapes made of mung bean. Um, but look at how cute they look. Hang they're on, they're adorable. And she's put like little leaves in to make it look like a peach. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. Did you try yeah. them? Yeah. Cheers. Take the little leaf out. Cheers. I was expecting that too. A really firm texture, it's like really soft, like paste. And it's not very sweet. Mmm, I don't like the sweet. I think it's mung bean paste, isn't it? Have I got the tomato one here? Yeah? No, that... I've got the rose apple. Oh. Well, inside it's like mung bean. A mung bean paste. Interesting. They're actually a really nice little sweet snack, they were turning back. You could eat all them in about five seconds though. I like them. Alright, so this temple you can see here is literally a 10 minutes walk from the city centre. And it's super beautiful. It's a Burmese style temple. There's loads of these in the city. It was built over 100 years ago by Burmese workers. And the Burmese style temples are absolutely stunning. They're always so intricate with the wooden ornaments. Yeah, in the city. This little refuge, this green area, such a nice place to just come and seek a bit of peace in the morning. And the grounds are beautiful as well. We've got, I don't really know what these are. What's this? Is this the Naga? That legend has it lives in the Mekong. I mean, just look at the place, it's really peaceful. I like how it says that. How stupid would you have to be to climb up on there? Yeah, it's such a nice place to come. You can just wander around the city. As always, you just come across temples like this. 
beautiful. This is lemon juice? Welcome. Lemon. Lemon. Ah, yeah. Kukong Kha. Yeah, welcome. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Vitamin drink. Vitamin. 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 Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. vitamin C. Vitamin C. Yeah. Ah. Today, promotion. Ah, promotion. How much? How like that? Ah. Uh, Pro. Buy pro, 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 what, what are you making? Oh, you are not... my, my, my ears have problem because I am too old. Oh, oh don't worry. 69, my ears have problem. You do not Again, look. please. You do not ah. look 69. You look very young. Oh, thank you. Ahan, <laughs> I like me. Oh, me hot coffee, hot chocolate. Ah, oh. delicious stuff. Okay. You have now? Ah, the, the, you want to drink it? Don't you That's how like cafe. Si baht. Si si pa. Si pa. Fifteen baht. Fifteen. Oh, oh, no, no. Ah, hot coffee. Um, cafe. Yeah. Do you want to sit here or to go? We will take to go. To go. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think this is a day market morning and, and day market that serves street food. We'll take a look. It looks like everyone's actually sitting down. So maybe we've missed it, but we'll get a coffee. Do you want to, to test it? To oh, to see it. if it's sweet enough. To test it. If you want more coffee, if you want more coffee, I have it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Hello. And, oh, do you have a Lampang map? Oh, no, we oh. do not. I have, I have it for you. Ah. This this cover Nakhon Lampang. Perfect. Please hold it. Yes. Ah, now we here. Mm -hmm. ah, you can see clock tower. Clock tower. Ah. Ah. What do you want to go to see? We are going to have a look at the markets. Oh. We, we like food, Thai food. <laughs> ah. and, 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 and you need it. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a nice day. <laughs> you too. What is your name? Susan. Susan. Ah. Yeah. English name. Susan. English. What is your Thai name? Pa Pin. Pa Pin. Pa. Pa. Mean. Aunt. 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 Pa. 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 <laughs> we will go and look at the food. Okay. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. <laughs> oh, we've got some bugs going on. Some sort of silkworms. Need to dry those still. Maybe not first thing for breakfast. Oh, they look good, don't they? She was lovely, lady. As we were walking through that market, everything was like closing, but then just saw these, they're like fried chilies. I don't know if they're spicy, I don't know what. We've got like some sort of sweet sauce with peanuts in. Is it stuffed? Yeah, something inside it. Mmm. It's like a stuffed green chili. It's actually quite tasty. I couldn't tell you what's in it. Some sort of veg, is it? Is it meat? It's like a little bit of meat. Actually, not a little bad snack. Quite tasty, actually. I think they were 10 by each. It was delicious. Mmm.
I'll look at those again. That's actually surprisingly good. It looked a bit shit, but really tasty. All right, so this place looks to be an absolute legendary affair. I'll just show you around. It's heaving in here. Now we've got a noodle soup uh, with Lukshin Nua, which is beef meatballs. Now these meatballs are special because they are not processed. They are 100% beef, no fillers, no rubbish. And they look massive. Shall I just try one on its own? They are absolutely delicious. They are well loved. Wow. So beefy. So we've got, yeah, noodle soup. And look at these chopsticks. These are the thickest chopsticks I've ever used. Got some nice rice noodles in there. Let's try the broth and then give it a bit of a season. I'll tell you what, it's actually really flavorful. It's just a light broth. broth. It just tastes like bones. You know, it's like a meaty, clear broth. But the star of the show is we've got some bean sprouts to throw in, cabbage. What else have we got? Chilies and vinegar. Now, these are always absolutely fantastic. And then this, which looks radioactive, doesn't it? Look at the colour of that. It's not spicy. So let's throw some of that in. And then, yeah, just the usual condiments your sugar. Chili flakes, let's do a few of them again. Oh. And then yeah, let's give that all a mix up. Let's give it a taste now. Look at that. That is a really good broth, honestly. Well, these meatballs are the star of the show. They're fantastic. Mmm. Mm. These chopsticks are well out to use. They're massive. Let's get a big spoonful. <laughs> let's get a big. Oh my goodness, mate. Right, so let's get a big mouthful of these rice noodles. Big spin of broth. Tell you what, fantastic though. Now I think I've got the 50 baht bowl, and I think we've got the 40 baht, but they look the same. So. How many meatballs did you get? I don't know. I think there's like eight in there. There's loads of meatballs. Maybe you get more meatballs because there's loads running through this dish. No, it's really good spot, and you can see. Busy. Just people in, out, people in, out. All morning, I take it. Good little spot. Oh, cab. <laughs> so here you can see the meatballs bubbling away. Cup on cab. Any looks in aloe tea so bread type? Cup on cab. So this place is just absolutely heaving. They're all thinking, what's this crazy flying doing chatting shit? Yeah, but that was delicious. That is so refreshing to eat proper beefy meatballs, meaty meatballs, like homemade, instead of like the processed ones you usually get. Proper meatballs. I think there was eight in there for the 50 baht ball. And it's filling, let me tell you that. Everyone was getting two balls. I think people were getting one ball of the pork, because they also do pork meatballs, I didn't know. And then I think maybe one ball of the beef, but they were delicious. That is a proper spot. I can't remember the name, but get yourself there. Now I don't know what, we'll just probably have a little, little look around Lampang. All right, so near the center of Lampang city is this pretty nice little clock tower. I've not seen anything like that so far in Thailand, so it's really nice to look at actually, in the middle of this roundabout. Big roundabout, I wouldn't want to drive around this. It's quite nice, isn't it? really bright, the sun's really bright. It's gone from cold in the morning to absolutely roasting. It's like, I think it's like 33 in the day. 
I'm not going to complain, but... So I think let's head down here to the river, because there's a big river that runs through Lampang. So let's have a look. Now guys, this temple here is called the uh, Wat Shangrai, and it's absolutely stunning. Now this is similar to the one in Shangrai, right in the north of Thailand. Big beautiful white temple, just on a smaller scale. But it's absolutely stunning. You see all the silver just like glittering in the sun. Really nice. There's quite a few beautiful temples here in the centre of Lampang. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Really smart, I really like them. Got all the detail. Beautiful stuff. Look at that view, you can actually see. Can you see down there, there's like the mountains in the background. A little bit smoggy again though. Since we've come up north, everything seems a little bit smoggier than everywhere else in Thailand. Why is that? Is it the pollution? Because I know the burning season usually starts a bit later in the year, but... Yeah, let's take a look at these views. Gorgeous stuff. Here we go, we made it to Lampang Riverfront. Looks like the river could do with a bit more water, doesn't it? No, but it's really beautiful, to be fair. Nice bridge there, like a suspension bridge. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Beautiful views behind the city. Now let me show you this now. If you can see, I might have to jump up. Can you see the cock on there, the rooster on the sign? There's also another one on that bridge. We'll try and find some more. The rooster is like the, the symbol of Lampang. So everywhere you go, you will see roosters on everything. Like you see people with uniforms with roosters on. You see it on all kinds of buildings. There's another sign there. It's like the symbol of Lampang. Let's have a look down here. Let's walk down the river. There's actually a bloke there. He's got like a crossbow. There's a bloke coming here now. We'll see if we can have a look at it. Maybe they're fishing with it in the river. I don't know. Right, so again, by the waterfront, by the riverfront here in Lampang, it's similar to Tag, as in, there's loads of these wooden houses in these nice little neighbourhoods. So nice to walk through, by the way. Like these grand, intricate, so they have wooden buildings with all the, you know, the detailed carving. Now I'm guessing that's because, again, we are on the waterfront and it'll be similar to Dag, whereas there's lots of like traders and a lot of wealth up and down the river. But this area is super cool. I think this is where they have the weekend night market. So I think at the weekend, these streets are just full of street vendors. But you get the picture that some of these buildings are incredible. A lot of them have been turned into fancy guest houses, but some have just been left as they are. Can you see the carvings? Yeah, extremely impressive. They're all wooden, all of them. Now look at that. Super cool street. That's beautiful up there. You can see the hand carved dragons. And then is it a cock or an eagle on the left? I don't know. It's like this here, this is one of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen. Look at that. That is incredible. There's about seven dogs in there. Seven huge dogs. Yeah, it's here, 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. Saturday, Sunday. There's a huge market. I just saw the sign. Peeking through the fence. Peeking at what we can't have. So nice. The doggos are coming over. They've noticed us. Coming over to kick us out. Oh, we've got the washing machine shops. How much? 20 baht. Cracking price. That's what you want. 20 baht is a good price. Sometimes they charge like 40, 50 baht. Right, this building might be one of the most beautiful on the entire street. And we just spotted there's a, a rat on the top, stood on like a, a globe, and it says 1913. So I'm guessing that was built in 1913. Would make sense, wouldn't it? Over a hundred years ago, crazy, look at it. 
I could, there's just going to be so many stunning buildings down here. I might just have to throw a few clips in. I can't just keep recording myself chatting shit. Yep. Every single house is a northern style wooden house. Now oh, this one's bloody massive. Oh, what have we got in here? I've got the um, soft shell crab. They're using, is it papaya salad to throw them into? Sorry, Pat. People are lovely around here. This street stretches on for ages. Oh, there's a traditional barber's there. He's having his hairline done. So here it looks like it's selling coconuts, limes, manau, and then this looks to me like lotus root flower, which I haven't seen yet in Thailand. I've eaten that before in other countries. So it is a, what day is it? It's like a Monday or a Tuesday. So most of these shops are shut, which tells me this is like another one of those places like the Chantaburi waterfront area where it's like aimed at Thai tourists, like a really big domestic tourism spot. So I think at the weekend, this place will just come to life and it'll be absolutely packed. But in the week, it just seems super chill. People going out of their life. It's very happy. And yeah. What's this? We've got another beautiful temple in here. We'll just take a quick look from a distance. Some of these houses are so nice. Just so simple. So chilled out. Wow. Beautiful little spot. They always are. Always. Just classic Lampang things. Some big old cocks. In fact, here we have another one. They actually do ceramics here they make lots of beautiful ceramics I've not seen any yet but so you'll see bowls everywhere with those cocks on we'll try and see some cock cock beautiful cocks cock gotta love cocks haven't you I love cocks hey up, look at this we've come across this bridge is really impressive really interesting style it's over a hundred years old and at the start, we've got the good old hen. Oh, that's what he had. And let's just go for a little wander down it. It's really impressive though, isn't it? Look, it's an interesting style with those like roof rafters. This must be like a very popular thing to see as early Lampang because there's a, one of those boards that tells you information about it. Any city that's on a river is just automatically like super beautiful. Water is quite clear as well. I don't know, you just can't beat being on the water, can you? Whether it's the seafront, a river, a lake. No, I don't think you can beat it. Let's get the other side. Really, really, really nice place. And if you're one of these people that like street art, there's all kinds of street art down there on both sides where people have done really cool paintings. I don't really care for it but if you do it's quite nice. So yeah there you go. Yeah really nice views. So here we have them being made fresh. We had these the other day and they're amazing. So we couldn't not get them. Couple and cap. <laughs> 20 baht for a little cake and these look a lot better these are like super fresh aren't they you could see them there oh they're gooey it's going with the hands look at that 
That is goodness. Coconut goodness. What's the purple from? I can't remember. I actually looked it up, but I forgot. No, it's so hard to fill. Not overly sweet, so it's really nice. You can actually taste the big strands of coconut in those. The last ones I had were really sweet. They're like a nice balance. Mmm. So good. Is he friendly? Yeah. So what do you have? Hello. Very nice. How do you like that? Cafe. You've got a beautiful coat on, haven't you? Look at that. It's a bit too hot for that, though. <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> this one is sleeping. He's fast asleep. And he's lucky. 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 Oh, lucky. 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 And How old are they? Four, five, uh, see how hot. Six. 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 Oh, 13. 13. 13. Wow. Okay, now, I need for this. Maybe. Maybe. Very good. Thank you very much. 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 Thank He's absolutely ravenous. He's got a little bell Christmas jumper on. You're beautiful, but yeah, he bites. <laughs> got some delicious coffee. So in Lampang, there are so many coffee shops. Lots of them seem like very like, fancy and pretentious though. But we found this place, Cafe Mug, which is like, just nice, chilled. Just like a family coffee shop. And we've got iced Americano, a little bit of sugar. So good, 45 bites, proper coffee. They grow lots of coffee here in the Northern Thailand and I can vouch that it's really good. Yeah, really nice little spot. Just a chilled spot. No frills, no pretentious vibes. Cute puppy. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And there's also a cat. Hello. Are you friendly? Oh, you've got one eye. On the lead, the cat on the lead. Yeah, really nice little spot. Oh, here is the little soldier. Oh, you pooped my camera. And I don't lick my toes. There we go. I'm pretty sure Lampang is one of the only places, maybe the only place in Thailand. That was horse and carts getting about the streets. You'll see them everywhere. I think it's mostly just for like Thai tourists though. Obviously because of the novelty, because they don't have stuff like that here. Obviously in Europe we do, but here I don't I don't think it's the main thing. No. Oh there's loads of kids in the song tell. Hello, hello! <laughs> All the kids. So far, yeah, Lampang. Hey this truck, we saw this truck before with a Liverpool. See a Liverpool fan? Anyway, enough getting sidetracked. So yeah, Lampang, first impressions. Really nice city here in Northern Thailand. The weather's great. In fact, the weather's perfect. Nice and hot, but it's not like stifling hot. People are really friendly so far. Food's really good so far. The city's walkable. The streets are beautiful. Really pleasant to walk around. Good coffee. I mean, I don't think I could think of a bad thing. I'm not just saying that. After just this first day anyway. So yeah, really pleasantly surprised. I had no expectation. Nice place, not overrun with Falang. We've seen, in fact, I think we've only seen like one of the tourists, if that. So yeah, just a chill vibe, you know. Just what you want. I'd rather come here than Chiang Mai. It's quieter. Yeah, it's really nice. Come and visit Lampang. 
we'll make a few more videos here so stay tuned for those and yeah thanks for watching as always